Hey there! Wanted to give you a quick rundown on what you're going to be going through in Module 3, Geometric Construction. Um, after you finish the first two modules, uh, especially CAD Module 1 and CAD Module 2, um, you should be feeling much more confident and much more capable in your AutoCAD skills. Um, in, in those first two modules, we really covered um, the, the basics that you'll need in terms of drawing and editing and modifying and also drawing setup. So in module three, we're really starting for the first time uh, the class, so to speak. Um, all the uh, preliminary work with understanding AutoCAD and getting up to speed so that everybody is uh, at, the, at the same point um, is, is done. And so with module three, and I'm gonna expand it right here, in module three, what our focus on is really going to be adding some necessary elements to our AutoCAD drawings so that they become really standardized engineering drawings, okay? So um, the, the first couple of things that I have at the top of the module is to make sure that everybody's AutoCAD looks like mine uh, on the screen, on my demos and in my tutorials that I'm doing. So there's an area, um, uh, for uh, or a video, I should say, for fixing the background color and the layout because we're going to be using layouts now. This is um, we have not been using layouts before, and I'll show you what they are in in um, in, in the video. Um, we're also going to be making sure that you have the correct status bar tools, okay? Um, and then uh, I also include here the MD MDT department standards. So these are the CAD standards. These are basically our rules and guidelines for how we want specific elements of your drawing to look uh, when you turn them in. Okay. So you'll want to uh, definitely, uh, you know, I, I think what you'll want to do is you'll definitely want to download this so that you always have this available. You don't need to print it out. It is 50 pages. Um, but you definitely want to download this so that you have this um, on your computer with you so that you can reference it. I'll be referencing it in the videos and, and in, the, uh, in the tutorials that I'm doing. Um, there's a lot of good information in here, okay? So, uh, and we'll talk about it during, the, during the, um, the demos and the tutorials. And we will be using it for the rest of the class, okay? Let's go back to the, the module three now. The drawing assignments, um, they're not going to be super uh, uh, complex. They're not going to be, uh, you know, hugely more difficult than what you finished in CAD Module 2. Um, what we're really doing in the uh, CAD exercises for Module 3 um, is making sure that you're able to print or prepare them for a layout. Okay, and then also uh, to print them uh, with a title block and border. Okay, so that's really the main thrust of this. Uh, if we go to the assignments here, you can see that there are four assignments. Okay, um, and I'll just read through this. This is this is actually we're like I said we're starting um, our book material. So this is chapter five in um, in the textbook Applied Geometry. Um, for each CAD drawing, you're going to be creating this using the MVCC template. And again, I went through this in a video, so please watch the videos. Um, you're going to plot each drawing on the appropriate border uh, with paper sizes and the completed title block. You're still going to be submitting the drawings in PDF format, so you're still going to be plotting them to a PDF printer. But now you're... you're plotted or your printed drawings are going to have a title block and border which you're going to fill out um, while you're using AutoCAD. Um, each multi-view drawing is going to have a top front and right side view in, in these first modules, right? So I'm, I'm telling you which views you're going to be generating, top front and right side views in, in, these, in this module. You're going to include all the hidden lines, okay? Um, here's another link to the CAD department standards. Now for the assignments, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be um, doing technical uh, sketching exercise adjusting guide, right? So you're still going to be doing one sketching exercise, right? And you're going to be doing these three CAD drawings. You're going to be doing the adjustable fork, the uh, exercise 2.2, the template, and exercise 2.3, the rocker arm, okay? 
Um, there is a tutorial video for the adjustable fork. And, and I talk about a lot of the things that you're going to need uh, for the template and the rocker arm. Okay, so make sure that you watch that one first. All drawings, okay, this is very important. All drawings are must start with the appropriate template. Okay, so um, I, I give you two templates, the MVCC mechanical inch template and the MVCC mechanical metric template. Um, whether if you're doing an inch drawing, then you're going to use the mechanical inch template. If you're using a metric drawing, you're going to be using the mechanical metric template. Okay, use proper layers for all CAD drawings. Place all CAD drawings on the appropriate border as instructed. CAD drawings um, are to be printed at the correct scale, and then complete the title block information. Okay, um, if you're if you're a little bit uh, you know uh, questioning what all this means, I I, you know, I want you to watch the videos uh, because that's where I go through everything, you know, and, and not everything is going to be um, for you to understand right away. Um, if you watch the video, here's the adjustable fork demo video, then it should become um, more apparent what you're what you need to do to, to complete each one of these exercises. OK, so if we look at the technical sketching exercise first, the adjusting guide. This is worth 10 points. Um, we have the same rubric as before, okay, based on line quality, shape accuracy, and orthographic views, all right? Using the sketching grid sheet. Now, this case, this is a blank grid sheet, okay? So that means that you're going to be uh, determining where the top, front, and right side views are going to be placed, um, what their scale is going to be. And here I say determine, determine the optimal scale for the views on the sheet. So you may have to play around with that. As in the last sketching video that we talked about in the last assignments from uh, uh, sketching module two, you may need to um, do this two or even three times. Okay, so it's sketching. It's very inexpensive and rather quick. Right. So um, just be prepared to work it out on the first sketching sheet and, you know, maybe keep that as your rough draft. All right. And then you can refine it and figure out the scaling and how everything is going to look and then put it on a final grid sheet. And that's the one that you're going to submit. OK, you're still turning it in the same way as before in a PDF format or JPEG format. Um, just please make sure that the quality of the of what you submit is is good quality so that I can see the line weight and all that stuff. All right. So now let's go on to um, the first uh, CAD assignment. So uh, as you can see, there is a demo video here for the first adjustable fork. Obviously, watch the video before you do the, the CAD drawing. OK. Um, maybe you can do the CAD drawing and watch the video simultaneously. Maybe not, but at the very least, watch the video before you do the the CAD um, exercise. Now let's look at the CAD exercise here. So you're going to make a CAD drawing of the adjustable fork. This can be found on page 81 in your textbook. Okay. If you have an older version text, an, an older uh, revision or an older version of the textbook. The same drawings are there. You'll just have to look in um, chapter five in the exercises for the adjustable fork. OK, um, before you begin, use um, read the using template files video. OK, um, and then you're going to start a new drawing. And here I'm telling you this is an inch drawing. So you want to start it with the mechanical inch template. OK, you're also going to be printing this to a B size layout. OK, and you're still going to be printing it to a PDF file. OK, so um, the best way to get started with module three is to first make sure that you have your template file, template files, I should say, um, loaded and ready to use. You should have already done this from CAD uh, drawing module two. OK, but I've also repeated the template file videos and instruction page in module three. So you'll be able to refresh your memory and if you don't if you didn't do it properly with CAD module two, then you can uh, reattempt it and make sure everything's good. So get your template set up. Um, then you can start working on the technical sketching 
with the CAD, make sure that you watch the adjustable fork video first, and then you can get started with the adjustable fork. Um, as I said, I don't think that the videos are going to be, or excuse me, the CAD exercises are going to be much more difficult. Uh, that's not really the aim here. The aim with CAD Module 3 is really to make sure that you're putting all the ingredients that we need for a complete engineering drawing. That is um, the layers and the layout and the uh, title block and border that's completed. Um, that's really the goal for uh, Module 3. Um, and also to continue to practice good CAD standards and just to continue to build your skills. Okay, so um, this assignment is due September 20th. All right, so this again is a one week assignment. So um, the you this will be due Sunday, September 20th at midnight like the other ones. Okay, um, after module three, module four, module five, module six, and module seven are all two week assignments. Okay. So if you're feeling a little bit stressed out with the assignments that are one week long, and I know, you know, the module two and now module three are both one week. Um, the good news is that we go back to two week modules with module four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, have, have uh, good luck with your CAD drawings. Goodbye.